Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Best, and what we're going to be doing on Cheryl here today is we're going to be doing dark field microscopy so we can look at live blood cell analysis. So we can see what her blood looks like, see what kind of nutritional deficiencies might be going on in the blood, or other disease processes that might be happening because she has a history of migraines. And then we're going to do a, a quick beta hearing session on her so we can see how the blood changes. Hi, I'm Dr. Faith Lucian, and today we're going to do some live blood cell analysis here on Cheryl. And here we go, most likely. It's a little pre-done to do it. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. Now I'm just going to prick your finger and get some blood. There we go. Covers right on the spike there without damaging anything. All right. Now what we do is we take some immersion oil, and we're just going to place that over the slide. And then we'll be able to view that on the microscope. Well, what we're seeing right here, and what I'll have to do is get another monitor because we had construction in the office. Okay, but we can see that the blood cells here are aggregating. So if you look over to this area right here, our blood cells are supposed to be free from each other. This way, oxygen can bind to the surface of the red blood cells. In Cheryl's condition here, we have erythrocyte aggregation, and we have some Rouleau formation. The problem with that is that we don't get the oxygen um, binding to the surfaces as readily as obviously when you have normal red blood cells floating around. Biochemistry. So that could have triggered her migraine. Oh, absolutely, because you're not getting the oxygen that you need. Here I am going up into a theta state. Theta is the brainwave frequency that is similar to when you're asleep dreaming or under deep hypnosis. This, is, this allows us to connect to the creative force, to the quantum field. And what, what I am doing at this time is asking for a healing of perfect blood and to see it in her body. And then occasionally you'll see my body kind of jerk a little bit as the energy is moving through. Cheryl. And then one more time, we'll just get a little sample of blood here. So I put my hands on your head. It's actually, I'm not channeling energy through my hands, but I like making a contact because you, you can feel more of what's going on with the body. Yeah. Let's see if we got it good. Right. It's opened up, you guys. We know that the, the blood cells have pulled away from each other. Here's, these are red blood cells here, so that we're just in a tiny portion of the blood, but they're separate. Well, when you have all this aggregation everywhere, like I said, you don't have um, the oxygen binding to the cells, the blood cells that you would like to circulate through the body. So now we're getting some separation, you know, of the blood cells, which is good. You know, these blood cells are, are close up to the slide. These are further back. Traditionally, what we'll see is we'll see the blood return to a normal state from whatever dysfunction that we see going on in the blood.